go. Because I've got a big head, as we all know. Right, let me just get myself sat down and sorted. Oh, dear. Right, I'll get... Yeah, you guys loaded up. I always should do this first. I never do this first. I'm stupid. Um, right, let's get you guys loaded up. Oh, I've just dropped half my food down there. I'm sorry. I look like a proper tramp. Let's see who's in. Da -da -da -da, live. Why does it never show it up? Right, I'll swap onto the other account because for some reason. Ah, there we go. Got it, I've got it, I've got it. Got to look tiny. Everything looks massive. I'm like miles away. Can everybody hear me okay? Let me know. I've got the mic in. But I feel like you are about 300 miles away from me on that. Everything looks massive. Just a minute. That's weird. Let's just move this a bit closer. Let's see how that looks. Although I may now cut the top of my head off by doing that. But let's have a look and see what it looks like. I've got to wait for me to come back on here now because I can't see. Right. Let's see what that's looking like. Ah, it's not too bad. I still see miles away and it's like literally I'm almost at it. Anyway, uh, let's have a chat. I'll move the mic a bit closer now as well. There we go. Right, let's see who's in chat and how everybody is. Um, hi, Angel Star. Thank you for calling me beautiful. Um, Astro Donut, Gemma Nicholson. Hi, Gemma. Hope you're good. Um, let's see. Loud and clear. Mr. Magoo, hello. Dylan Urbex Adventures, hello. Michelle Hartshorn. Um, Denise Short. Yes, I'm well. Thank you for asking. Um, it's Toka's just... It will be a miserable night in Blackpool because it's Blackpool, but I know what you mean. It's not particularly the nicest weather. Um, my photos arrived today. Thank you very much. We'll talk about that in a minute because I'm going to... There's been so many people. I say I'm going to talk about it in a minute and then I start talking about it. But there's been so, so many people like, oh, I missed out on it last time you did it. Can you do it again? So, yeah. Anyway, I need to turn this sound down. Otherwise, that's all you can hear. Um... Hi Kim, hi Shelley, hi Aaron, hi Rachel, hi Julie, hi Paul, hi Heather, hi Noise, Nisha, um, hi Dusted Dawn, hi Loria, uh, Forest Films, let's have a look who else, hi Janet Edmondson, um, so yeah, what I've decided to do, I forgot to get these out, I should have got them out first, although... Jesus. I have got a lot of these. And obviously, with Andy not being on the channel anymore, I'm not really putting them up for sale. Um, but there's there's a lot in this in here. I think they're all the same. I think there's about... A hundred of those, maybe two hundred of those. So, I'm going to, if anybody else wants, if you want to donate through paypal.me slash findersbeepers, um, some people, not everybody, so you'll either get photos, postcards, it's like a bit of a lucky dip. Photos, postcards, um, stickers, I've got about ten left. 10 left of the stickers of my heads. I think I've got some of Andy somewhere as well, but I don't actually know where they are. So you'll either get photos, postcard, stickers, poster, um, a video message, a personal video message. So it's a bit of like a, a lucky dip. You don't know what you're going to get. It could be one of any of them. It might be one person will get everything. One person will get everything, like every single one of those things I've just mentioned. However, not everybody will. So, 
Where's my doggo? He's down on the floor, oh, eating a ball, oh. Um, I'll buy one. They've been on our website for God knows how long. I don't know if they're still there. Uh, have I had your hair dyed? Of course I have. I'm ready to go away. So this bit of the beard's been done. This bit of the hair's been done. I originally did this bit of the hair by accident. And then ever since then, I sort of, I sort of liked it. So I've stuck to it. I'm, I'm staying with it. Quite like it. Um, a used sock. No, we've not got... Oh, you could have one of these. Now, these were sent to me and Andy. And I'm keeping one because I want to continue to use it maybe when I go to China. However, I do have a spare. So, one person will also get this. Which, last time I wore it, I had COVID. So, you'll probably get COVID with it. So, maybe stick it in the wash. But, but yeah, I've got two of these. One I'm keeping, although that one's covered in dog hairs. And this one will send out to you. So, one person will get that as well. So, any... Any PayPal donations, um, if it's it's got to be over a fiver, only because of postage. Obviously, the tubes and stuff cost a fortune to send out, especially if they're going to America. So anything over a fiver on paypal.me slash findersbeepers. Um, I think, I can't remember it was who did those. I don't know if it was Lisa. Somebody did them. I can't remember it were for us. Yeah, what's my natural colour? Pretty much black. Um... Oh, God, you're going to get me getting old photos out again now, aren't you? Let's show you a photo of my beautiful hair when it was long. Well, not long. Um, you can't really see in that photo, but that is that is my natural hair colour. Uh, black, pretty much. Um, oh, Chantel is the first person in the lucky dip. Thank you, Chantel. Uh, I will keep an eye out for your names. I'll try and mention you on here if you do donate as well, but I'll, it's hard sometimes to keep up with things. Um, let's have a look. Uh, salt and pepper. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I like my grey hair sometimes, but then other times I don't. Like When my hair's wet, it makes my hair seem very thin and see-through. And, oh, what have I done to that light? I've kind of broken that light. It's sort of flopped. It's flopped. Um, I'll sort that out in a minute. Um, one second. Uh, sorry I've missed the live streams. Work, work, work. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, when I'm coming this way, I don't know yet. No, I do like my grey hair, but there are times when I don't. It goes, like, when it's under bright light, it seems very see-through, which I don't like. And also, when I get it wet, it goes very see-through, which I don't like. So, I don't know. Um, yes, I saw it, Chantel. I, I shouted you out, but I missed. Yeah, I think you missed it. Paul Clinton as well. Thank you very much for the donation. Like I said, any that come through, you'll be in a lucky dip to, to win one of many things, and potentially more than just one. Um, I just want to be fair. I want to... I want to start fresh, I want to get rid of all these. All this money, by the way, is going towards the Singapore trip. Um, I'm trying to save up as much as I possibly can to do something pretty amazing while I'm there. Um, however, once I've got rid of all this stuff, I'm going to get to start off a new line on the shop. I've just brought out... Um, but I don't think I've actually put it on the shop yet, actually. I've not brought it out. I've, I've designed it. Some T-shirts, which are going to be Beeper Bitches T-shirts. I know not everybody's going to appreciate being called a Beeper Bitch. So I've also got Beeper Mothers T-shirts coming on. So if that's something that you're interested in. Oh, Kim Jeffrey, thank you very much for the donation. Um, one second. Sure. Um... Can I have Matt's number? I fancy you a lot. My girlfriend does too. Bleeding heck. Well, somebody can have it, but I'm not saying anyone who it is. How's Andy doing? Don't know. Ring him. Find out. I don't know. He might be in chatting a bit. You never know. He was the other day. Yes, there's going to be Beeper Mothers and Beeper Bitches t-shirts. Um, I know, like I said, I wanted to tone it down for some because I know not everybody's going to want bitches written on the top. However, some people will. So we're going to do Beeper Bitches and Beeper Mothers t-shirts. 
Um, what? Matt reminds me of a gorgeous footballer. What? Football? A fat one? Like Neville Southall or someone like that. <laughs> big, big fat footballer. Um, I'm also feeling in a bit of a naughty mood today. So, if anybody wants to message me on something like Instagram or Facebook um, with somebody's telephone number you want me to prank, I'm in one of those moods tonight. So, if you give me some background, the name and something I can wind them up about, I might pick you out and I might do that later, but we'll see. We'll see how, how it goes. Um, oh, yeah, the Beeper Bitches one is on there, but done something wrong on it and I need to get it sorted out so probably don't buy it yet because <laughs> I think you'll get charged about 100 quid for postage which is wrong so I'll sort it, I'll sort it um, what else um, will you have more hoodies in stock have we not got them, have they gone I thought we'd got them in the thing is it's hard for me at the moment because there's just me to keep an eye on everything like stock levels I Andy used to deal with stock levels and posting things out. That was his job. But because we do it through a company now. I don't see if it's in stock. Let me just. Uh, well, can't even find shop now. Wait a minute. Oh, I'll just put the actual. If you don't know by the way. It's findersbeepers.co.uk slash shop. Um, that is the way to get onto our shop. And see what there is. Let's have a look. Okie dokie. Okay. T-shirts. T-shirts. T-shirts, lots of T-shirts, many sorts of T-shirts, bleeding heck. Hoodies, yeah, we've got we've got the Beeper Army Regiment hoodie in, we've got uh, Beeper Bear hoodie in. We are sold out on the Can't Say That hoodies. Um, we've got Matt's Tattoo hoodies in, and we are sold out on the Pigeony Bastard hoodies. So they're the ones you're on about. They will be back in stock. Um but just, oh, and the normal standard hoodies like these, that's the ones you're on about. Yeah, the the other ones are in stock, those ones are out, but I'll sort it, I'll sort it. I know I keep saying this and I never get around to it because uh, I'm terrible. One sec. Uh, there's no chart size on the shop. There is, there is. You get on it and you, you let's do it. Do, 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 do. One second. I think there is, but you might have to go to a different... Let's have a look. There's somewhere where it definitely says, and I can't remember where because I've seen it. I know that there is. I think if you go on the ones that are out of stock, I think it possibly says on there. And they're the same hoodies. So, one sec, one sec. Let me just have a look. God, this is a weird thing for me to be looking at. Yes, if you go onto the standard, you can't say that hoodie, the size guide is on there. So the sizes will be exactly the same on all the hoodies. It's just not being moved across for some reason. So hopefully that will help you out. All right, let's have a look. Um, do, do, do. Facebook message you. I saw that come through. I'll have a look in a minute. Uh, hi, SA. Hi, Stuart. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Michelle. Uh, you will be put into the draw. Well, not the draw. Into the hat for the mystery gift whichever one it is that you want well not which one i am talking absolute balls tonight so you'll get put for the lucky dip somebody will get something of everything as well um let's have a look uh hi julie sorry i didn't reply to you, you messaged me the other day and then i just got in the middle of something else and then i forgot to reply um oh andy's in the chat hello andrew hope you're okay I feel like one day you should pop down and come onto the live with me. Although I haven't told you I'm doing one, so um, let's have a look. Do, do, do. Um, hi, Diana. Hi, Connie. Hi, Mr. Mister. <laughs> Lucky what? Oh, shit, it's Andy. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll just let you get up. Like, shall I just go a minute and then let you get over the fact that Andy's in chat? No, I'm joking. Of course, I love it. I love the fact that you you all get excited about speaking to him. Um, one second. I I need to speak to you, Andy, later on. Remind me, because there's something I want to do. Uh, that's it. If you let me know, I'll pop down. 
Oh, well, see, okay, I will. I'm going to France on Saturday until next Thursday, so it won't be for a bit anyway. Um, I'm, I'm sweating over Matt now. Why? <laughs> Why are you sweating? Don't sweat. Oh, thank you, Julie. Thank you very much for the donation. Obviously, it's better through PayPal because we get all of it because YouTube steal half of it. But thank you so much. I, I appreciate everything. Really, really good. Um, let's have a look. Ooh, let me just look at that one. Um, that is a good one. That is a good one that's just come through, Rachel. Um, oh, Julie, thank you so much um, for the for the donation through. Like I said, you'll be putting the hat for the mystery doofer. But yeah, Rachel, yours is looking good at the moment. Um, let's have a look. Um, mm, mm, mm. Your gorgeous looks make me flush. What, the toilet? Me head down it. Um, I think Matt should model his new wife front range. I don't bloody wear her underwear. I'm definitely not going to do that. And nobody wants to see me naked or in un underwear. Nobody. Apart from possibly Tammy, from what she's writing. Um, let's have a look. Let's talk about hamburger buns. Actually, did you know that McDonald's have changed their hamburger buns for the first time in about 40 years? Very strange. Um, they are not now more like brioche buns. Um, and they're slightly toasted more on the inside. They cook the burgers a little bit more and it makes the cheese melt. Something I found out yesterday, which is quite strange. Um, oh, thank you, Julie. Uh, I've seen it come through on there as well. And both of them together will, will do. That's brilliant. Um... One second. Um, do, do, do. Oh, I'm glad that you got to speak to Andy about the doll that you sent through of him. Uh, and thank you, Vanessa Beresford, as well. So, uh, brioche buns. They're not really like brioche. They sort of look like brioche buns, but don't taste like brioche buns. Weird. It's weird. I only found out about it yesterday. Uh, I think they've kept it quite quiet as well, because people are just not going to buy it. Um... So, what did you think of Sunday's episode? Did anybody enjoy it? Because I was, I loved that episode. I think it's so good. Episode four is pretty much equally as good as well. There's some really, really good stuff in the fourth episode. And probably, I'm almost more scared in the fourth one than I am in the third one. Uh, but, um, vest tops and be beeper bitches. Yes, I will do vest tops as well. Uh, love the video. Um, the white dress made me think of Andy right away. He wouldn't have fit in that. It was tiny. Um, let's have a look. I enjoyed the working. Oh, I forgot. I just realised who you are. Forgot. Forgot who you were, Mister 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 Simon. Um, yes. No. It was. I told you I got it working. Um, can you eat another McDonald's? I was gonna do this. Um, with a McDonald's, a KFC, and a Burger King. Uh, all at the same time, but chicken burgers and risked my life even more. Um, but I never got round to it, and I haven't. I've only got a yard. I haven't really got a garden, so it's not something I can do. So I don't know. Um, you need to do fat pregnant women sizes. We do. I think we'd go up to five XL, which I'm sure would fit most pregnant people. I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's have a look. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, you go and enjoy your premiere. Thank you for popping in, Julie. Um, enamel, enamel pin badges are something that are absolute pain in the arse. I have looked into them, but they're so expensive. Um, don't do car stickers as of yet. It is something I've looked into, but like the stickers that we used to sell were basically as good as car stickers anyway, because they just didn't they pretty much waterproof. I've got them on my cups and I wash my cups and they're fine. So, um, let's have a look. What else we got on here? Um, do a mukbang. You see, I hate eating in front of camera. I don't know what it is. Like, even drinking. Like, I've got this drink here and I'm like, I keep sort of wanting to pick it up and have a drink. But then when I do this, that silence and the swallowing noises... I just 
I feel bad. I feel like I don't like it. So it's going to be 10 times worse if I'm shoving food in my face. That's why whenever I do a behind the scenes video, I show you my food and then that's it. Oh, Nicole, thank you so, so much. You were going into the draw as well. Um, loved your drone footage. I can't wait. There's going to be some good uh, drone footage from France, hopefully. Um, I've got it all charged up, everything sorted. I've got eight battery packs. What have I got as well? The only thing about France is the locations I've got, I've been given by one person. I know nothing about them apart from one of the locations. One of the locations hasn't been done by anybody else, even though it's been empty for almost 40 years. It's a place that's been empty for almost 40 years, but the security is that tight on the place and nobody knows about it that I might struggle. So we will see. Bring back Roy. Bring back Roy. He's dead. Can't just bring his corpse in. Um, let's have a look. If I won the lottery, I'd yeah, I'd love to buy and do up an abandoned house. Yeah, no, I would. I would. I've got the opportunity to do it. I kind of own one myself, so I've got the opportunity to do up an abandoned house if I wanted to. But technically, it's not abandoned. But you know what I mean, like a a falling down house. But I would, some of the places I've been to, I definitely, definitely would. The um, the big place in Italy next to the lakes is up for sale at the moment for 1.7 million euros. So if you want to do up that one, <laughs> get on with you. You know what? It's worth so much more, that place as well. The houses in like central London that are 1.7 million. In fact, in pounds it'd be about 1.5 million they're just not worth it compared to somewhere like that uh let's have a look uh matt you're doing a great job thank you abby really appreciated um no tammy no roy <laughs> roy's not really dead just to clarify whenever i say it people are like message me and go Oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. And like, he's not dead. We just say he's dead because he's basically walking, but dead. So, um, let's have a look. Do, do, do. I don't know if I can I pin comments in this. Yes, I can. There we go. Let's pin Kim's message on here. Um, oh, thank you, Nikki, as well. Right. So, I've got a message through from someone about a subscriber so she's a subscriber and this other person's a subscriber she's just been away so she's called courtney and she's just come back from tenerife um so i've got to ring her and let her know there is some additional charges on the hotel melia Jardine del Tiede. Melia Jardine de Tiede. Yeah. Melia Jardine del Tiede. Right. Let's. I'll just go for Melia Jardine. Melia Jardine. Okay, okay. Let's. Uh, let me try. I've just got to copy that and just put it in here and get this number because I've got a. I've just got to put 141 in front of it so she doesn't know who it is that's calling. I can't see your messages at the moment because I'm doing this. But let's see how this goes. Oh, I've got a very itchy nose. Right, cut. Melia Jardine. Melia Jardine. Melia Jardine. Oh, I need to know her name. All right. Right, I put it on speaker. Don't laugh, because she'll hear you. Hello? Hello, is uh, Courtney there? 
Yeah, this is Courtney. Hi there. It's um, Jeff calling from the hotel you stayed in Tenerife, Melia Jardin. Oh, yeah. Hi there. Um, we need to put some extra charges on your card, if possible. Who is it? One second. It's the hotel we stayed in. Oh, okay. Oh, extra charges for what, honey? Um, we have some... It's it's a little bit embarrassing. Um, it's no, it's it's not the ash. It's the additional charges. So things like adult services and um, also the the food bill on there as well. Adult services. What do you mean? I beg your pardon. So. Uh, I, I'm, so, so, I'm sorry, it's, it's a really hard conversation to have. It, it basically, the, the ladies, the ladies come into the room and also the, the video messages on there. Video messages? What video messages? We didn't have any video messages. Okay. The thing is, I, I totally understand. It's not something you're going to want to, uh, I, how do you say, um, tell people that you're doing we will not put it on any bill on your bank or anything like that it will just be purely matt from finders beepers giving you a quick call you're all right oh my good lord <laughs> <laughs> matt, I swear to God, it's matt from finders beepers winding me up <laughs> <What>? it's <Matt>. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear i'm so sorry rachel rachel gave me a number and said that i should give you a quick call Thank you for that because you've now got me sweating. <laughs> well, you're on live at the moment, so everybody's listening to this. So. All right, thanks for that. Hi, everyone. <laughs> right, I'm going to go anyway. <laughs> no worries, thank you for that. No worries. Hope you had a good holiday. Yeah, thank you. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> I could have I could have totally gone on so much longer with that so much longer but I don't know if you noticed my hands were doing I'm quite good at stuff like that but I don't know why because I could hear both of them I was sort of like a little bit like that um but yeah I couldn't quite you know what she was really like he were in the background going tell him to piss off <laughs> and she were like oh oh we didn't any we didn't have any video messages did we have video messages probably thinking he's done it <laughs> Oh dear, I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. If anybody else wants to message me uh, with anything in particular, um, Matt, your acting was slightly better than Conor McGregor in the new Roadhouse film. I haven't seen that, to be fair. But, nah, you've got to, like, this is somebody that watches the videos. They know me. That, I don't know what that accent was. It was sort of a bit French. Then it went a bit Geordie and a bit Spanish as well. It were a bit of a... <laughs> adult services um, didn't watch any porn. <laughs> um, the adult services were Matt. Hi, Lindsay. Hope you're good. But, yeah, no, I enjoy doing stuff like that. I would like to do some more prank style videos. I have got something. I don't know if Andy's still in, but there is something I want to do at the moment, but I need a contact. I need, and I can't explain it without giving it away, but so much stuff. What's, shut up, Stuart. You know what port is. Um, and the world's first French northerner. <laughs> oh dear. Um, what else? <laughs> sounded like a scene from Hello Hello. It sort of did, didn't it? Um, let's have a look. Hello, Matt. How about an abandoned camp? How can you do... Do you mean sleeping in an abandoned place? Or do you mean a camp, just going camping? Because I, I don't really know, but... Um, Conor McGregor. Oh, I'm guessing this is the uh, fellow messaging me now. Hey, Tokyo in the house. Hey, you, get out of here and start doing some editing. Done feck all. <laughs> Let's have a look. Um, I've just done a prank call, Tokyo. That's what it was. And that, that's what we are just talking about. Uh, do, do, do. I missed half the messages as well while I was doing it. Um, <laughs> Matt is even... What, with a, a dodgy French accent? I was sexy with a... I don't think so. Yes, I did do 141. And I called off my not personal number, so it's okay. This is oh no, this is my works. This is my home, my phone. So actually, I rang off mine. Um, 
I'm in the house now. What, do you mean you're you're in the chat, or do you mean you're actually in your house? Challenge Matt. I would like to do a se like challenge Annika. I would like to do some sort of weird series like that. It would be really good. Um, when are you bringing out the Pornhub video? Never. I'm never doing OnlyFans. I'm never. There's no point. There's not much much to see. Um, oh, there is. There's plenty to see. The, that's the half the problem. There's too much to see. So, um, let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Hello, everyone, for a warm welcome. Uh, behave now as the missus is watching as well. Um, Simon, you know when I came and met up with you that time, you left that pack of condoms in the car. So I'll, I'll post that back out to you. <laughs> ho, ho. Um, let's have a look. German. I don't think I could do a German. If I did a German accent, I feel like it would become borderline racist. I feel like I would become Adolf Hitler um, in a like over the top kind of way as well. So I don't know if that's a good idea. Uh, I've been speaking to Ben tonight, Casper site. We've had a, a nice conversation. He sent me a nice photograph of himself. Um, what did he do it on WhatsApp? Yes, he sent me a nice photograph of himself with a picture of him. Oh, got to be careful what I said. What's on there? But uh, with a nice picture of himself with a picture of himself on his mug of him. Like, he's just sat there with a mug of himself, drinking himself. So, um, let's have a look. <laughs> no. Go on, Matt, but give us your best German. No, the thing is... I. I I was doing, there was an accent, oh, what was I reading? I was reading The Witches to Freddy, um, the book The Witches, last night before he went to bed. And in the Grand High Witch in that, written down, it's written down as like a with a German accent and I was doing it and I just thought to myself, this sounds so bad. This sounds like I'm being a proper, like, Hitler. So, I don't know. Um, let's... <laughs> This stream is mad. Matt's doing a porno video and pretending to be Hitler. This is live streams with us. This is what it's always like. Um, would you ever explore in Somerset? People always say this. Would you ever explore in Dorset? Like, it's not like there's certain counties where I go, no, fuck that. Staying, staying away from Essex. All them white escorts. Fucking hell. But no, like, of course, I'd, I'd explore anyway. If there was somewhere good to explore, I'd explore it. Um, another one would um, let's have a look. Two handsome men. No, Ben's lovely. Um, check out Glastonbury Town, it's lush. I feel like I have been to Glastonbury at some point. Um, I'm very turned on by Matt now. Too much information. What is wrong with you? Something wrong with you. Um, one second, Deb Leith. Sorry if I have. It's very, very hard to keep up with the, the names on here. You will just... It is hard sometimes to, like... I miss people's names. It's really, really hard. Oh, yeah, I can see that on there as well. Uh, I'll go... I'll be going back through them um, afterwards anyway. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you've only just come in, you've got the chance to either get photos, um, posters... I've got some posters here... Um, I might pop up and see if I can get Andy to sign some as well for you. And I'll sign them. Signed photos. Sign, uh, I've got some postcards as well. Some stickers. And one of these, because I'm keeping one, but one's definitely going to somebody. Um, so, yeah. Uh, can I get a photo? It is Tokyo. Why do you want a signed photo of me? I don't think you do, do you, really? Um, I want that special. Lisa, you are not getting any sort of special. There is no special photo. Don't be starting a rumour off that there's a special photo. There's a special video. There's a special video that only one Patreon member has ever seen. And Tokyo and Andy have seen it. Because Andy was there when it happened. This is sounding worse. The more I say it sounds worse. It's not anything sexual. It's a video on location somewhere where I did something that probably is highly illegal and also will blow your mind. 
I, I can't tell you, but yeah, it's at some point I might give one person the opportunity to see it, but I don't know. Um, let's have a look. I want a double signed photo. Well, the all double signed, the ones that have gone out of me and Andy. Uh, Tokyo, it, it was awful. Yes, you've seen it. I actually um, have a poster, sticker, or poster because I'm a nice editor. Oh, why you'll have what I you'll have nothing, woman. You'll have nothing. Um, you'll be scarred. Yes. Um, Saze, happy birthday. Hope you're having a happy birthday. If it's today, if it's not today, hope you have a happy birthday when it is. Um, Andy, you can't be struggling. All I'll oh, how do I say it without giving away where it is, who it is, and two people videoed it. You were there. Um, oh, it wasn't in this country, and we we went just us two, but somebody else filmed it. See if you can work that out. If you can't, I'll message you in a minute. Um, crap, I'm totally late. Well, don't worry, you've got probably another hour of me yet, so. Um, Andy, send me the video. Andy hasn't got the video. I've got the video. Um, let's have a look. Uh, oh, yes, I remember. See, I knew you'd remember. And it, how is it something shocking? I think it's quite shocking. So, um, I'll make a special drone video. There's a, there is a, there is a naked video of me skipping across a, a field and jumping into something. I'm sure it was in a video once, but it was blurred because you could see my balls. So, um, let's have a look. Do, do, do. I have got the video. Yeah, you give it out to anyone and I will sue you. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know how. Yes, it is. Um, Tokyo, do you like your job? I don't know if you do or not, because you don't seem to be doing it. But if you, if you want to maybe carry on as doing it and not doing it, then you need to shore up. Um, let's have a look. Waterfall. Yeah, there's the waterfall arsh flash, arsh flash. But there was one from years ago. One where I was metal detecting naked. And one where I was running through a field naked. In fact, there was two where I was running through fields naked. So um, let's have a look. Uh, 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 who's got the juicy con? It's I think it's on the channel. If it's not on the channel, it'll be accessible to the Patreon members. I can't remember. Um, two million for a video is fair. If it gets leaked, it gets leaked. It's one of those things. It's nothing that anyone can do anything about. Uh, when you were in Russia naked too, was I rush naked in Russia? Oh yes. Was I naked when I went in that water? I can't. I thought I'd got shorts on, but maybe I was naked. What happened to my membership? I don't know. You've either not paid it or you've cancelled it because I ain't done anything. Um, if it was one that was gifted to you, it's only monthly, so it will have gone off. Um, let's have a look. Russian skinny dipping. I'm sure I did. I'm sure I did do some Russian skinny dipping, but I didn't know. I couldn't remember if I got shorts on. It was at that place we almost got caught by that massive fecking dog that like looked like a bear. Uh, I'm not doing a naked explore. Imagine falling over in a place like that. You get a right splinter in your willy. It's not good, is it? Um, YouTube do stop people's payments. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how that works. I'm sure. I'm sure I've seen you naked, but with your hand over your privates. Possibly. I feel like most people have. It's quite weird, really. And like, when when I get a new missus, she's gonna think it's a bit weird that I'm uh, that I'm. <laughs> most people have seen me naked. Uh, you were naked in that pool when the police. Oh yes, I was naked in the pool, and then I had to put my t-shirt on. I don't know why I put my. Oh no, I put my t-shirt on my legs for filming. I was got naked, then I put my legs in the t-shirt, tied it up, because I thought, oh, I don't mind getting my t-shirt wet. Um, <laughs> I know. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, the manscape. I would like to work. The problem is with the manscape now. Um, the guy that we used to was my contact. I, I managed to get in through LinkedIn. I love LinkedIn because I get in with some really like I am friends on LinkedIn with um, what do you call it? Side men's manager and loads of people to do with them really high up. And I talk to them as if I know them. I'm like, and they probably see that many people throughout like a year. I just pretend that I know them, get in with them. And at some point it's going to, well, it already has been beneficial because I got in with this guy from Manscaped um, and he, we've ended up having about six grand off them. So definitely, definitely worth, worth getting in with certain people through that. I love LinkedIn. Um, if I had a prime for every time you said, let's have a look. I do say let's have a look a lot, actually, don't I? Um, I'm too young for Matt. How old are you, SA? And I, I'm sure at some point you said you were a man. But <laughs> maybe I'm going a bit crazy, but I'm sure you did. Um, let's have a look. It's my birthday. I'm watching with Christine eating McDonald's. I hope you enjoy your McDonald's with Christine. Um... Let's have a look. Uh, do you remember years ago at an outdoorish abandoned place and on the footage there was a black... Fit yeah, they, that was in Doncaster. It, it's uh, been flattened, that place now. Um, it was freaky because I looked directly at it as well in the video and I, I would have seen it and I saw nothing, which is really weird. Uh, Matt, have you got me on ignore, not replying to emails or chats? I haven't seen anything come through. So definitely not got you on ignore, but I've not. You've got to remember, I get hundreds of messages a day, whether it be through Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it, um, Snapchat. I've got bloody Lisa every five seconds messaging me. Um, so, <laughs> yikes, I'm all a woman. Um, one second. Uh, do, do, do. Um, the missus wants a signed photo for the bedroom ceiling. I'm sure I'll send me your address, Simon. I'll sort you something out. Um, let's have a look. Uh, do, do, do. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'm not going into it by any means, but just to answer everybody's question, yeah, I am single, so I'm not going in, into it though. Um, let's have a look. Do, do, do. Let's have a look. I am saying it, aren't I? I don't even realise I'm saying it. And now you've made me aware that I'm saying it. Uh, I'm just making sure I've not missed any messages, that's all. Uh, so, I need to think of something I want to do in August. So, I go to Scotland for two weeks when I'm in August every year. But also, then Freddie is going away for a week to Egypt. And I want to go somewhere a bit different, a bit special. Or do something a bit different, a bit special. I would have liked to have done the £150 car video. Something similar to that around that time. But it's it's a lot of work to raise the funds and find the right... Andy will know. To find the right bloody car. It took us about a year and a half to get that right. So... Um, Let's have a look. A video with Tokyo. Oh, it's, it's fucking Tokyo that's written it. I don't think so. I don't think I can deal with you. You're bad enough on phone. Um, bedrooms. No, it didn't go straight over my head. I just know that your missus loves me more than, than she loves you, Simon. So, therefore, it was just a normal comment. Um, let's have a look. Tokyo... X bit no, that's just nobody wants to see that. Um, let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Right, okay, let's go off off chat a little bit. So we'll recap. We'll recap. If you do want to get yourself in the uh, hat for the mist, I keep lifting it up like you can see it, but you can't. To get yourself a signed poster or signed photos or um some hand drawn postcards or stickers or a video message 
um, you need to donate through paypal.me slash findersbeepers. All the money is going towards the trip, um, which is in five weeks' time. Or is it four weeks' time? It's like maybe four and a half weeks now. It's not very long till I go. Uh, I want signed Y fronts. Well, I'm not going to go and buy some fecking Y fronts just to sign them for you. Because that ain't happening. <laughs> um, do you uh, do something for Yorkshire Day? When is Yorkshire Day? I might be away. Uh, I'm, I'm going to France on Saturday. So uh, let's have a look. I'll pin that. Do, 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 do. Uh, how do we do this? Used Y... No, right, I don't wear Y fronts. How, why would I be giving away Y fronts that are used? They're going to be used from someone... You can have me dad's Y fronts if you want. I'll pinch some while I'm in France with him next week. Um, can you sign my boobs? What has, what has this become? Uh, we've got to the stage where people are offering up their boobs. Um... What else? So, I'm going to be doing some second channel videos over the coming months where I'm going to be travelling further afield. And it's also going to in involve subscribers. So, there's already one in place that I've already got the plan for, which is going to be going for a cup of tea with one of our subscribers. I know it sounds a bit boring, but it's going to be more to it than that. I threw a dart into that map about two years ago, and I told them I'll come into their house. And I ain't set off yet. <laughs> So the cup of tea is going to be flat, fecking cold. Um, so I'm going to do that soon. There is a video at some point where I will be travelling to John O'Groats and having to make my way home. So I want to be able to get you guys involved in that, uh, potentially getting you to come and pick me up, uh, give me short lifts and things like that. So that will be something that definitely will be happening at some point. Um, and there's other, I want to do other things. I want to get you guys involved. I really, really do. Um, the subject change almost gave me whiplash. What? Moved away from boobs. That's why. <laughs> no, Essay, I genuinely think you wrote that. I think you wrote that at some point because that, it confused me because I thought all this time, He's, he's definitely not a man. It's definitely not a man. But these days, you don't know, do you? So I just took it on board as that was what you'd said. So I've got no problems with anybody. But I just... I don't know. Uh, Yorkshire Day is 1st of August. I'll be in Scotland. So um, who's going to France with me? It'll be me, my dad, and Freddie. So we're doing stuff through... Because we're going away for Easter. Uh, we're doing stuff through the day, like me, Freddie and my dad, and then I'll be going off later on in the day, going exploring. So I'll be spending time with them, but also it's still me working. Um, and get to, you'll get to see some of the behind the scenes from that as well. Um, let's have a look. Uh, just because I missed the first half of the live, when we donate, do we need to leave any information on the donation? How do we donate? So, yeah, paypal.me slash beepers. Make sure your address is included. If it's not included, I can't send it to you. Uh, I have had a couple of people that have sent me messages afterwards and said, I haven't put it on. Can you please put it on? And I've done that, but it'd be easier if you don't. Um, my boobs are for you, Matt. Brilliant. Um, I sent you a photo on Patreon. Right, let's have a look at this photo. Uh, da -da -da -da. I'm concerned. I'm concerned. Where is... Oh, there. Um, yeah, I can't see it. So I feel like you're either lying to me or it's you've sent it to somebody else. Um, let's have a look. Also, Essie, how old are you? You never told me that. Wait, are we exchanging boob pics? No. There are no boob pics being exchanged. Um, you lot are being horny bonked again. What does that mean, Tokyo? Will you sign my balls? Well, you've got to find them first, Simon. Um, sounds fab. My kettle's always on. The person's already been picked out. 
the person doesn't know who they are. So if you did it a couple of years ago where you gave me your address um, and I threw a dart into a thing, you don't know that I'm coming to turn up at your house. They don't know that I'm coming. I'm just going to turn up one day. Um, although I'll probably turn up and they've gone on holiday to bloody Benidorm for a week or something. Um, she says she's 26. Ah, uh, yeah, that is a bit low. I generally, I would say my age range would be 30 to 40. So if you're above that, soz. If you're below that, soz. But I have had a couple of 26-year-olds after me recently, which is weird. Um, I don't know if I told you about someone the other day, Andy, or not. But I'll update you. Um, abseiling off an abandoned building. I would do that. I love abseiling. It's good. Although I don't know if the ropes would take me anymore. Um, uh, ooh, ooh. Horny bonked means basically you're being smacked for being horny. And go to horny jail. What are you talking about? Tokyo, whatever goes off in your life between you and your fella is nothing to do with us. Yeah, that rules me out then. It, like, don't get me wrong, if you're a stunner, yeah, then you might have a chance regardless. You could be 86 and look like you're, like, I don't know, 32, and then then you never know. So, um, I'm Andy's girl. Yeah, of course you are. I know that. That's why I've... Switched my brain off from you. <laughs> what the hell is... Like I said, there is exceptions. There's exceptions to the rule. I would say that is my bracket that I would look for, though. Um, I'm not saying that I'm looking. I'm not even looking at all at the moment. I've got the itchiest nose ever. I don't know what's happened. Um, Tokyo, Matt makes me horny as he's stunning or like the sun. The thing is, you look at the sun and you go like this. So I would have thought that would have the same reaction, to be fair. Uh, does anybody else want me to ring any of their friends just to wind them up? Because I am feeling up. Oh, you should do a second channel video called Blind Day. I should not. Oh, do something like um, Tinder in real life. No, I'm okay, thanks. Um, I'm 24. Is that too young for you? My daughter's like 19 next month, so it seems a bit strange. I'm not going to lie. Um, oh, what did Andy just retract? I feel like Andy's just written something bad and then deleted it. Um, means you're going to get angry if you have an itchy nose. I know, I've heard that. I've heard that. Um, let's have a look. Anything with a pulse. We know this, Andy. We know this. Anything with a pulse. <laughs> um Oh, I could so I could say so many bad things, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Um, <laughs> who will be? Um, who will Matt be? Silla Black? No, because I think that doesn't work. It's me that's supposed to be getting the date. I don't want a date before you ask. Anyway, I ain't got time for a date. Um, fucking hell, I'm twenty. Yeah, exactly. My daughter, oldest daughter's just younger than you. Oh, thank you so much, Aaron. Um, do the draw please addressed to Shelley yeah no problem at all I you will be in the draw for those I don't know which you'll be getting um, Andy can I get you to sign some posters at some point because there's, I, just, I just need them signed there's none of these that are signed um, with age comes experience but also wrinkles and stretch marks actually there's nothing wrong with stretch marks I, I, that sounds like I'm being horrible stretch marks a sign of a of a woman that has been through life. I, I don't know what I'm saying now. Um, oh, one second. Uh, Amy Lee, thank you very much as well. Uh, also, 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 if you do want, uh, if you want to go on the shop, you can still get the entries for the book. I just trumped um, the book that you will get. Potentially, someone will get at the end of the year with all the stuff in from all the different trips. Um, so if you want to get in that, and if you're a member or a Patreon member, don't forget you get a free entry. You just need to email email me, matt at findersbeepers.co.uk, and I'll give you a free ticket. Um, let's have a look. Um, 
this whole chat. It's a bit of a difference. Normally we're talking about food, but now we're just talking about other things that can potentially be eaten. Actually, talking about things that can be eaten and humans. Have you seen it in the news about that guy that found someone's leg at the side of the railway when he'd been run over and he's just walking around in the street chewing on it? Uh, he got arrested and everything for it. He literally was walking around with a human leg chewing on it. What is wrong with people? Mad. I saw that earlier on. Uh, do you miss Matt's farts, Andy? I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Um, yeah, no, I ain't got any. I Yeah, no, exactly what the fuck. Um, I have got no problem with stretch marks of any sort at all. Doesn't bother me at all. Uh, so love the artwork in the thumbnail. Yeah, it was Lisa who was in chat that did both of those um, on there. Lisa, if you're in chat, could I potentially use the artwork of Bear for T-shirts? Is that okay? I don't know if it was a right leg or left leg. Was that yes, I can, or yes, you're in chat? Um. I just thought it'd be quite good to put it on t-shirts. Of course you can. Thank you very much. Um, I don't think it'd work with the picture of me because of the shoulders, because they, they're quite square at the ends, but bare would work. So I think I might I might do that. Um, don't talk about eating things when Andy's around. Ooh, don't put mobile numbers in chat, please. Please do not put mobile numbers in chat. Let's have a look. Oh, thank you so much, the person that's just sent that through. I'm going to I'm gonna hide that because I don't want people seeing that. So please send it to me on Facebook or Instagram. Please don't put people's mobile numbers in, in here. Um, right, let's have a look. Andy Thompson, you hunk of a man. <laughs> he certainly is. No, it's at the end of the day, it's not. It's nothing to do with, with like, it, it doesn't affect me. But we don't want someone else's mobile number being leaked out. Uh, I almost did it to Casper Sites, you know, like Ben from Casper Site last time. He literally messaged me. I had to take a whole video down because his number, I'd, I'd, lit, I'd gone like this and he could see his number on there. So, so many people could have rung Ben up and got his number. I <laughs> proper doxed him. So, just a minute. What about landline numbers? Uh, yeah, he can give me a landline number. Bear's quiet tonight. He's absolutely zonked in that corner. Now he looks worried like he's in trouble. Because I've just turned around fast. You can't just send me a number, Tokyo, and say nothing about it. Let's have a look. You didn't see any numbers, Kim, because it came up um, like I had to give permission to put that on there. So you wouldn't have seen it. Right. Sorry, I've got to go now. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Um, let's have a look. We're as bad as each other. Yeah. Uh, wasn't that on Bishton Hall Live you did that? Yes, it was Bishton Hall Live where I did Casper Sight's number. Absolutely mad. Like, he's a, such a nice bloke though because most people would go crazy if you'd leaked their phone number, but he just didn't. He just sent me a text and said, get rid of this. Um, ring Andy and wind him up. He's in chat. I think he'd probably get it if I started <laughs> saying, oh, hello. This is Matt. Uh, I don't know if you know where I am. <laughs> I think you'd get it, to be fair. My number is 999. Yes. Okay, Tammy. Um, let's have a look. Oh, have you got up now? Do you want to come up? Come on. Come on, fatty. Oh, I don't know if I can get you because you're so fat. Come here. Here. Ah. Easy, yellow. Look. No, you can't have that because it's got the microphone on top of it. No, it's got the microphone on. You're just an idiot, dog. Bear, you can't have it. It's got the mic on it. It's got the microphone on it. Bear, you can't have it. No. Right, just to let you know what he's doing. So I always put the microphone on top of a stuffed toy. It's here. And it's currently on top of this bear. It just muffles the sound slightly so it's not as echoing. No, you can't have it. No. Keep away from the bear, bear. So that's what he's trying to do at the moment. And he's going to end up eating the microphone. Oh, you've already covered me in airs once. 
Bear's so sweet, he has things to say. <laughs> yeah, that's it. He's just like, Arr. um, it's a lot of fuss. I know what we're going on about here now. <laughs> I love that Bear has his dad's hairstyle. Technically, Freddy's Bear's dad. So, what's happening? There we go. Right, say hello to people, fatty. What are you saying? What are we saying today? Anything? You're going to stay with Grandma? Hmm? You're staying with Grandma this weekend? While I swan off to France? Hmm? Are we going to get out on some more explorers soon? Are we going out? Hmm? We're going out. We are. Okay. Right, you're going back down there. You big fat pudding. Right, let's have a look. Oh, is Andy gone? See you, Andy. Um. Yeah, I need to change on pay. If you're a Patreon member or a normal member, I need to change things over slightly because it's all like old. It's like the old setup, and I need to change it. So I'm going to try and think of some new, fresh things to give Patreon members and members because. I want to give you. I want to give back because you're amazing. You help me out loads, so look out for that over the next couple of weeks, which I'll probably forget to do by the end of this. Uh, did you know Bear and Matt are twins? No, he's he's so lovely, Bear. I'm not lovely. One hundred and ninety eight watching and only four likes. I don't think that's right. I think there's probably more than four likes. However, even if there is only four likes, it's alive, so that's just what happens. Um. It could be could be right to be fair. It could be because it's alive. Um, let's see what have I got on here. I feel like I've missed. I'm not. I'm not ringing Dom. I'm not ringing Dom if he's having a poo. Let's see if I've got any more messages through. Just trying to see if I can prank anybody else. Oh, do, do, do. Uh, no, I don't think I've got one. I don't think I could use yours, Abbe, because it's not really, it's not really something I can use. The information you give me is not really good to wind someone up with. I can't. I'd struggle. Um, plus, it's your mum, and that feels a bit. I feel a bit bad for winding your mum up. Yeah, 62 likes. 137 likes. God, it's going up. Uh, 56. 78. God, everybody's got a different amount of likes. So, what sort of videos? Like, I've been thinking of stuff for the second channel. I have got some big-ass videos. Like, not big-ass videos. That's a whole different video idea I've got in my head. But some big ideas for, like, travelling and doing some videos. Going to places like going to Morocco... That's something I'm potentially looking at doing next month, if not maybe in June. Um, then, what else? I've got some big, big plans for videos. But is there anything you can think that's small? Like small videos that you want to see? Is there any subjects you want me to talk about in the office? Is there anything you want me to see, go and do out in the public? What do you want to see me do? I'm trying to think of stuff for the second. Um, what? I was, okay, I was, what, I've missed stuff now. Um, ghost Road Metal Detecting. Oh, thank you very much, Queen Sophie. Obviously, if you do want to get entered into the, the thing, it has to be through the PayPal, so I can keep an eye on who's donated and their address. Um... How about visiting the battlefields in France? I, I would like to... I won't be anywhere near there where I'm going. I'm going to near La Rochelle. Um, so I won't really be near there this time. However, I would like to do that. But I don't know if those videos would do that well. And I don't know if they'd... Fit, fit into how I do things because I'm be a bit sad, but I don't know. Maybe it would be good. I don't know. 
I loved your childhood video. I would like to do some more stuff like that. Did people actually enjoy that video? I did it because I just wanted to go out for a walk and I thought, you know what, I'll take you with me and show you what I, where I like going. So, any interest on cults and secrets? I've got, I have got a location um, of a cult village that I've been given by about a million people, including Tokyo. So, potentially I could go up there. One sec. Uh, oh my, I'll message you about a possible new location for Halloween live stream. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Um, are there many places on the Isle of Man or the Isle of White? Apparently there is on the Isle of White. I don't know about the Isle of Man, but I am a bit scared of the Isle of Man. Because that's where Jason, my stalker, lives. Which I am very worried about. Uh... Do the waterfall videos with the drones. Oh, like I did up in Scotland. I have got a couple of places I'd like to go in Scotland. So when the weather gets a bit better, I might go up and stay at Rachel's mum's, uh, if she's okay with that. And if not, I'll go and sleep in the car. So, mine hunting in the Falklands. Thanks for that, Simon. You absolute ball bag. What about the mausoleum behind the old REF bloke's house? Up Stannington. What about the mausoleum behind... Oh, this is what you were talking to me about the other day. Up Stannington and beyond area. I don't know where that is. You mentioned it the other day and I, I didn't know what you were on about then. Um, just message me about it. Send me a pin or something. Uh, I want to go to Scotland at some point too. I also... This is another one. I'm only showing you this because it fell off the wall earlier. I am a lord. I don't want to show you too long because it's got my full name on there. But um, it's one of these ones that you get a small plot of land uh, and you are like a laird or a lord. Um, and mine is in Glencoe. You know where uh, Jimmy Savile had the house. So I would quite like to go up there and visit it at some point and maybe try and use my power as a lord to uh, to do some stuff so let's have a look what about do something different with the hellfire caves i don't know what hellfire caves are um yes it is andy's name that should be on there i've just not moved it over it's just too much messing about um let's have a look you'd love it up there matt how can i get you the details i'm not allowed I'm not allowed sharp rings like pins, but I like sponge. What does that mean? That makes no sense at all. Uh, you can message me via email, Instagram, Facebook. There's multiple ways. Um, I reckon you should do some dark tourism, definitely. I enjoyed doing the caves in Scotland um, with the dark history to it. So it is something I would like to get into. And at some point, not now, not for a long time, so don't worry, but at some point there will be a stage where I can't climb in through high windows or like sneaking through doors and stuff in the middle of the night. So I have got to think about stuff for the future that I would like to do. And that is something that I probably would like to move into, like the behind the scenes videos, but more... Like the mainstream videos of going to places like that and showing you other places all around the world, not just in Europe, but everywhere. There's some, there's a church in the Czech Republic I really wanted to go to when I were in Hungary. I was so tempted to drive there, but I think I would have missed my plane if I did. So, you know what? I think it's something in this room I'm allergic to because it's every time I come in here, my nose itches and I get a blocked up nose. Um... One sec. Uh, what? Sharp things. Bludgeoned autocorrect. I don't know what that means. Um, one sec. Made by... I can't see the end of it. Thank you very much. I've just seen your donation come through as well. Hellfire Caves are in West Wickham. Oh, made by Sazze. Thank you very much. I've just seen that come through. Um, Lord Matt. That's wonderful. Um... I watched your video on the island outside Venice, uh, Italy. It was I was so shocked that you actually got there. I absolutely loved it. That's probably one of my favourite videos in the world ever. What is up with me? 
uh, one of my favourite videos ever. Um, it's all that weed you've got there. Right, it's not. I've never, ever smoked. I've never, ever done drugs. I am quite a prude when it comes to things like that. So, um, I'll try again. I sent you a message about the workhouse uh, in Bradfield. Oh, did you? Um, I'd like to know more about that, to be fair, because obviously it is my the area that I've grown up round. Um, I... Uh, I too loved your videos in Italy. Well, you, I, I'm sort of thinking about going back. If I can find some more really good locations, I'd like to go back. I really enjoyed Italy. I think there's so much more to see. I'd like to go to Sicily, and I'd like to go to southern Italy, but it's all a bit dangerous. But so what? Like I'm sure there's. I'm going to end up going a lot worse places. I'm looking past you because I'm looking at the map at the moment. I'd like to go to Iraq. I'd like to go to Iran. I'd like to go to Turkmenistan. There's so many places I'd like to go to. Um, I love the Roy video of the 50 Cent. That was the first video we ever, ever did, the 50 Cent rap. It was We did it drunk in a room. It was the first one that got edited anyway because it took me about 10 minutes. Um, Italy's a beautiful place. Um, it really, really is. It really is. Uh, go caving in the devil's arse um it's not too f i almost actually the video where we went uh, around all the places when i was younger i almost ended up going to castleton if the weather had been better i would have ended up in castleton there's so many good things around there uh, i do like it let's have a look um yeah maybe i'll look into the i'm thinking about maybe dark tourism stuff for like Tuesday or Thursday videos or Wednesday videos or some other videos. But I'm also thinking about, for the second channel, doing some of these extreme weird things. Like the cheese rolling, like wife carrying, like uh, bog snorkeling and things like that. I'd like to do those as well. Um, Mum said... Uh, just said she got to Kazakhstan with you to stalk Dimash. Who the hell is that? I have no idea what that is. What do you mean you have a stalker? Is that real? Yes. Um, it's from a while ago. It To put it in perspective, it's when Roy, TC, Andy and me were all on the channel. Um, basically, and I've, I've said this a few times before, but I may as well say it again. Um so anyway, he used to post on all our things saying that he didn't like Roy and he didn't like TC, but he loved me and Andy. Uh, he wanted to marry us and he was obsessed with us. He loved us. And we always joked about it in videos, like how we got a big gay following and everything like that. And it, like Andy was making his Andy jokes as usual. And then one day, another subscriber messaged me and said, you need to look on YouTube, look at this video. And there was a video of him coming... Uh, driving from the Isle of Man, coming to my work on when I worked um, as a salesman. He was outside my work on the Friday. Uh, he filmed me coming out of work, getting in my car and driving off home. The next day, he filmed me. So we knew that was on the Friday because that's when I was working. On the Saturday, me and Freddie were sat on the settee in my house and he was filming through the smallest of gaps between the curtains and... Um, of me on this settee and then on the Sunday he filmed Andy through his kitchen window washing the pots and it scared us to death and he disappeared now I challenged him about it I said I'm going to ring the police if you don't remove it and then that's it um what was happening here um so yeah it was it was scary very very scary but we only had about 2,000 subscribers at the time and it's hap not happened recently but the thing is this is something I talk about quite a lot. If I'm walking down the street, um, sounds like the beginning of Hey Arthur. Uh, as I'm walking down the street, I see people sometimes like look at me and I think, is there someone on my face? Do they know me from the channel? Or am I just being paranoid? Then sometimes people come up to me and ask for a photo or like, like just want to talk to me. I was literally walking through Wumwell in Barnsley the other day and... There was a woman sat at the bus stop who went, Hi, Matt. I'm like, do I know you? 
are you someone that I actually know or are you a subscriber? So I'm always like, hi, I'm like, and I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but then I always, the other side to that is, you know my face, you hear me talk, you listen to me and see me on things. I don't know what you look like. So literally, somebody could be there watching me and I would never know. And it freaks me out a little bit that sometimes. It really, really does. Like I, most people, I'm not bothered. Like if you're just like knocking one out in a corner watching me, I don't care. As long as you're not going to get me. Um, I'm not going to Chernobyl because it's become a bit of a like explorer's playground. Everybody goes there. But uh, I couldn't be bothered to stalk anyone. <laughs> yeah, too lazy. If you shaved your beard, you might not get recognised until I go on camera with no beard and then everybody would know. I can't, like, shave it off and then grow it for the next time I'm on video. That just doesn't work. Um, let's have a look. Oh, dear. A stalker enough to scare the life out of anyone, Matt. Now, don't let Matt get mugged and bummed. Litter picking in Manchester. Well, that's quite a very random thing to write. Is that what you want me to do on the second channel? Or, Matt, you doing Chernobyl would be an improvement. See, I would like to do Chernobyl, but not the touristy trap. Because it, you pay for a tour now. And I don't want to go on a paid tour. I want to go on a... I want to go on something where you're not... Like the exclusion zone bit where you're not supposed to be. That's where I'd like to go. Um, You should go to Atherston Ball Game. Is that where they all like basically scrap in the street? I would love to do that. I just don't know how I would film some of these things though. Like, I'd have to have somebody there with me for the cheese rolling. If I did that, because I can't film myself. Well, I can, but I can't just film myself. I'd quite like someone to be there filming it, maybe doing some drone footage at the same time, that sort of thing. I know who's going to perk up in a minute if she's still in here. Um, one sec. Hey, Matt, did you envisage what is happening with our beloved Prince Catherine? Um, I still have some strong opinions on that, but it's probably not best. I obviously, if it is everything's right that she said, that is it's awful. It is awful. But I'm not saying anything else. Uh, wear a GoPro. Yeah, I could wear a GoPro. It would look good for a section of the video, but you couldn't just have just pure GoPro footage. It would be a shite video. You'd need to have somebody at one angle filming you. You'd film yourself and then have a GoPro on as well. But obviously, you'd have to put the phone away for the whatever. So, I don't know. I could film and drone. You could. I don't actually know where it is. I think, is it not down near Hereford or somewhere like that way? It can't, it can't be that far away. Um, Yeah, that one, I wouldn't mind that, Simon. I wouldn't mind that. I don't know whether you're allowed to. Bull run, I would like to do, but I don't think it would go down very well. I don't think people would be happy about me doing it. Uh, please don't do the cheese rolling, it's too dangerous. Do you not see things? I've jumped off Tower Bridge. I've jumped off Tower Bridge and I can hardly swim. So, that is nothing in comparison. Um, can you do 360 videos? Not at the moment, but maybe in the future. See, no, not a bull run. I, I know that it would invoke quite strong feelings in some people. Um... The thing is with the bull runs, running of the bulls, they don't kill the the bulls, but they do, it's sort of a bit like, um, I suppose, what's the horse race called now? Grand National. A lot of people don't like the Grand National because it puts them at risk. So it's the same sort of thing. Um, I wouldn't mind doing the tomatoes one, where they like you leather people with tomatoes. I also wouldn't mind doing like a colour run in India, where they throw all the coloured powder paint stuff, that would be quite good. Um, one sec. <laughs> Matt will be grand, he'll just roll down the hill. No, I would honestly try and run the whole way down. I know it's pretty much impossible, but I used to do... My knees affect these days, though, to be fair. But I used to... And that's why, because I used to do a lot of downhill races um, and fell runs and stuff like that, but this is bloody steep, so... Um, 
No, I, I know. I know people wouldn't watch the ball run, and this is why I probably won't ever do that. Tough mudder, I'm not fit enough. You've got to remember I've broke my back. Um, so I could probably get fit enough to do it, but I think it would hurt me. I've got to be careful of my back. So um, that's that. Holiday is that. Holiday is that the paint thing? I don't know. When are you meeting Gordon Ramsay? Why would I meet Gordon Ramsay? Um, let's have a look. Yeah, so I would like to... Do, I've got Sue on it at the moment. Sue's looking at dates for all these different weird and wonderful things. Whether I get round to doing it is another thing, but it is something that I would like to do. Um, what is What are we having this conversation about now? I feel like people are arguing now. What's happening? Uh... Oh, I don't really know what's happening there. Um, all right, I'm staying on for a little bit longer. So you've got... I am going to do the thing with the photographs and the posters probably right up until we I go away to uh, Singapore. So don't worry if you've not sorted it out today. You've still got an opportunity. Um, please, more bear content, no matter what it is. I could do... I was going to do a bear video when I went out with him the other day. However, I just thought it'd be duplicate stuff. So, Three Peaks Challenge, possibly could do that. I do need to lose some weight, though. Um, I want that book, Matt. Well, buy some tickets. If you want the book, buy some tickets. You can buy as many as you want. Buy a billion if you want, but I don't think you can probably afford a billion. Um, who's my favourite celebrity? I'm not really into celebrity culture. I'm more of a... I'm a YouTube person. I watch YouTubers. I don't watch, like, terrestrial TV. I never listen to music in the car anymore, which is weird. Um, because music makes me sad. I get triggered by music. It makes me... brings out my emotions. I love music. But if I listen to music and it's the wrong sort of music, it will definitely affect my mood. So I've just stopped listening to music in the car altogether. Um, what is the book? Oh, you don't know about the book. You must know about the book. So every road trip I go on, so for example, I go to, on Saturday I go to France. Um, on that trip, I'll pick up a few bits. It doesn't. It might be a postcard, it might be... Something that you see in the video, it might be something that doesn't even get mentioned in the video. And I'll put it in that book and I'll do some like little notes in there, little handwritten notes. My handwriting's terrible, by the way. Um, and at the end of it, you'll have a book with the whole of 2024, well, from the last Italy trip onwards, um, of all the different places I've been and all the different things that I write in the book. So there'll be... There'll be all sorts in there. There'll be some times where I forget. And there'll be some times where I think, fucking hell, I should have got that and I didn't. But most of the time I'll get some good stuff to put in there for you. Uh, and if you go on the website, findersbeepers.co.uk slash shop, you can get your tickets. There are fiver for a ticket. Buy as many as you want. And one person will win that at the end of the year. Um, and there's not many. I think there's 50 tickets gone so far. So you've got you've definitely got a good chance of getting it. Um Pendle Witches, definitely something that I could I could look into. I do like the whole witch thing, um, to be honest. There's a lot of things like that that would be quite good. Um Don't put our special moment photo in the book, please. Simon, weirdo. Um one sec. Put some real pictures of you and Bear in the book too. I can I, I could put all sorts in there. I was going to make it specifically about trips, but it could be days out that I have with him as well. There's a lot of pages, so it might be a good idea to do that. Um, but when I plan to do America, America is one that I would like to do, but people always take this the wrong way. It comes well down on my list of places to go. If I look at that big map that's behind you, I look at Europe, but then I look at Asia. I'll maybe look a bit at Africa. I never really look over at Canada, America, places like that, because it's very similar to where I live. So I don't really... I know it's not. 
I think it's the people that I, I think are they're very similar. So I don't know. We need more pics of bear. Okay, I'll put some more pictures of bear on stuff. Um, do the Montana Montana Testicle Festival. What even is that? Uh, Pendle is Burnley. I have seen it. I think when I've. Do, do you go near it when you go to Preston? I feel like I saw signs when I went to watch Wednesday against Preston North End. Um, videos in Africa would be amazing. They would. However, I am a bit scared of Africa. I'm more scared of Africa than I am of places like Iraq, Iran and Kazakhstan. Like, they are scary places, but I think Africa really, really is a massively scary place. I think I don't think people realise how scary it is. Like you've got all your places like uh, Egypt, Morocco, South Africa, and even though they're dangerous, they're nothing in comparison. Absolutely nothing in comparison to some of the other places there. Um, I'd love to see you collaborate with CJ Fashion. Who the hell is that? I have no idea who that is. Um. Let's have a look. How about the lakes and sleeping in bothies? I'd like the bothies, not boffies. Um, <coughs> uh, I wouldn't mind doing something like that. But one, I'd like the weather to be better. And two, I don't know, there's not really a two, is there? I don't know, I might like to do that. You need a security guard to take you shopping in Africa. Exactly, that's it. And, and then we, like, South Africa is one of the, it's a beautiful place, but there's a load of high crime. Um, but if you're looking at places like on the West Coast and even the East, East Coast, like Somalia and Ethiopia and places like that, it's, they'll just shoot you. They don't give a shit. They'll just shoot you. So I would like to go there. Um, my friend was robbed at the traffic lights in uh, Johannesburg. Someone that I used to work with, I didn't actually know her, but she worked at the same place as me and she went, they were opening a new office in South Africa. I don't know whereabouts, maybe Cape Town. I don't know. Um, basically, she went there as a representative and she got stabbed in the spine and she's got like a curved spine now because of it. It's all gone a bit weird. So it is a bit weird. Machu Picchu definitely would like to go. I just think it would cost a fecking fortune. Um, somebody I know did. It's not somebody I know. Somebody I watch. Um, Will and E did a video uh, going to Machu Picchu. They did a race. They did a race. One of them went on a train and one of them went in a car. And they had to go different routes to get to Machu Picchu. And they got there. It was it was closed. It was closed. They couldn't get in. So, um, what? I saw an old woman pooing by the traffic. You sure it wasn't me? Pooing by the traffic lights. Squatting and all. I've done that. Um, hey, AC, we've got it sorted. Yeah, I would love to go to Machu Picchu. Because according to my genetics, my DNA makeup, I am... From near there, or I've got like 0.1% of me from there, because obviously some of my Spanish relatives went there and, and fucked a local somewhere along the line. So, I figured it out, good. We need a Matt's Idiot Abroad. You know what, I'd love to do that. That is like what I want my future to be, in a way. Like I love the abandoned stuff, and I do want to continue doing that. But I also want like both. I like maybe one one exploring video and then a traveling video i'd love to do that matt goes across africa i don't know if you've ever watched it there was a series years ago and i'm not a, i'm not a motorbike person but it proper like inspired me with you and mcgregor the long way around it was such a good series he went to all these places he drove from the uk well he drove from up in scotland through france germany poland then into russia um, and then all the way across the Ru uh, Russia, across the Road of Bones, they went into Mongolia and places like that, Kazakhstan, and then up, right up to the little strait that goes across from Russia to America. 
into America and finished off in New York. And it was just such a good series, really good series. And then he did one down through Africa and one in South America. But I haven't seen the South American one. But yeah, so, so good. And I'd love to do something. It inspired me to do stuff like that. And that's why I sort of travel like I do now. Like I don't ever just stop in one place. I'll drive from place to place because I love doing it. I love seeing the places. Um, see, I'm not a train person. Like for me, a car, you can stop, you can get out. And I, I want to go and have a look at something. I can get out. A train, you can't. Like you can, but not the same. If I see something at the side of the road, I literally, I will stop on a motorway and go and, get, and have a look. Like I'm like that. So, whatever happened to Carl Pilkington? I just think the series sort of came to an end. It was really good, though. Um, we're not reminding anybody about the Welsh connections. Thank you very much. Um, one sec. Matt and Joanna Lumley. She's basically dead here, isn't she? She's about 95. Um, yeah, and Ewan McGregor. We are talking about celebrities earlier on. He's probably one of my... He is my only boy crush. Proper love. Proper, proper love, Ewan McGregor. He is an absolute legend. I just... I think he's brill. I really, really do. Um, But there's... The driving to Morocco was my favourite video. Yeah, I've talked about it. Me and Andy talked about it, and then I've talked about doing it separately. Driving all the way across to Asia. So we've driven to... Um, Africa, I'd like to drive to Asia and then I don't know how I'd drive anywhere else though, I'd like to drive to um, the Arctic Circle as well, that'd be something good Andy would still do jo Joanna Lumley, yeah definitely Jude Law, oh no no um, what's the PayPal, paypal.me so paypal.me at findersbeepers.co.uk. I used to have all the things with them on, but I don't, I don't think they're down there somewhere. Oh, there's one there. I can't bother to get up there. Oh, thank you, Lisa. I'll pin... Oh, it's already at the top anyway, pinned. Uh, I, I think the only thing with Ewan McGregor, he did let himself down with um, the whole cheating on his wife thing, because she was absolutely beautiful. Um, yes, it is. It's still the Andy one. So yeah, you will see Andy's name on there. What was the other thing I was going to say to you? Uh, yeah, my favourite film ever. Actually, let's have a guess. I bet somebody gets it now. But what do you think my favourite film ever is? Bear in mind, I've not. I'll tell you if I've seen them as well. Um, what do you think my favourite favourite film is? Oh God, such an itchy nose. Um, I reckon someone will get it now, but we'll see. Rita Bo Sue and Bob 2. Right, that film, I think it was a good film. Not going to lie, it was a good film. Can you imagine them bringing that out now? It's basically a paedophile. A paedophile going round with two young girls. And, like, don't you think it's a bit weird if you think about the background of that film? It's very odd. Um, somebody's already got it. Um, two people have already got it. I think I've probably told you before. Not Dirty Dancing, although that is good. Uh, jung not Jungle Book, not Star Wars. Oh, Karen Fowl, thank you. That's come through. I've seen that. Thank you for the donation. Um, Goonies is well up there on my films. I hate... Oh, no, I don't hate Kez. Kez makes me sad, but I hate the thing with how it's all linked to Barnsley and stuff. Um Saving Ryan's Private... Uh, Saving Private Ryan is actually a really good film. Uh, not Goodwill Hunting, not Green Mile. Um, let's have a look. Fair few people got it now. Let's have a look. You've never seen Cares? I had to watch it. When I worked in schools, because I worked in schools in Barnsley, they always had it on all the time. Um, but yeah, it is. It's not Terminator. I've never seen Terminator 2. Um, it is Moulin Rouge. Moulin Rouge is my favourite, favourite film. If you know anything about me, I am quite an emotional person. And like I said, with music, I'm very emotional. And all the songs in that are just proper love. It's so good. And you know what? I'm not a massive fan of, like, musicals. But that is good. I just love it. I just proper love it. Um, I, I, I don't know. I think 
probably this is why people think I'm I'm a bit the other way. So uh, let's have a look. I don't like Nicole Kidman. She whispers in all films. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look. Watership Down. Oh, that's sad, isn't it? That's the rabbit one. Bright eyes burning like they are. Yeah, it's all that, isn't it? Musicals are shite. No, oh, no, I proper, I proper loved Moulin Rouge. It literally was so good. Memoirs of a Geisha Girl. I've never seen that. Can we get guess Matt's age? It's not thirty nine. I'm pretty sure everybody knows my age, to be fair, but it's definitely not. Um, Full Monte. I have done. I did the Full Monte in Sheffield in a club. In front of, for the, it was the first time I'd met my girlfriend at the time's mum. I was only nineteen. I was in the, in a room full of people, and I took all my clothes off, like all of them. Uh, let's have a look. I'm not forty. I'm not forty two. Um, I'm not seventy eight. Tammy, you cheeky twat. I'm not forty two. Let's have a look. <laughs> He's forty four. 44, yeah. I am 44. I'm 44. Please you say you cheeky knobhead. You should know. Yeah, I'm 44. Um, yeah, everybody's pretty much right. Tammy, you're going to get timed out in a minute, you knob. Um, oh, God. All right, I'm going to go in a minute anyway. But uh, let me think. Do you want to see... I'm not going to show you very much of my dad and Freddy, but do you want to see any of my dad and Freddy while we're away and the behind the scenes? Like, is that something that you would find interesting? Um, you called me older. You are old, Lisa. That's the difference. You're calling me old when I'm not, and you actually are. Uh, yes, show them. Right, okay. Um, let's have a sec. Never seen your dad. Oh, yeah, I don't know if you, if you want to. Um... Yeah, no, I'll see. it depends what we do. There was a, there was an explore that I wanted to do and I don't think I can. And I will, t you know what, I'll tell you about it now before I go. I want to go because I'm staying like literally two minutes in a boat away from uh, Fort Bayard. I don't know if you remember Fort Bayard that used to be on the telly. And it's abandoned and you can get on it, but only if you like Spider-Man. So there's another explorer that's been... And he got a million views on his video. He's French. But there's never been a, an English video, English speaking video, getting on there. And I would love, love to get on Fort Bayard and, and do that. But I don't think I can. Um, but it's like, it's like, you can see it from where I'm staying. You can see it. But I could probably get out there on a boat. But I don't think I could get in once I got there. So... I don't know. I ate bloody Melinda Messenger. Can't stand that woman. Um, what did I see there? Uh, definitely saw something. I've missed that. Oh, Matt, can you send me the ticket for the book? If you've entered, it's a. It's not a physical ticket. You get it via email. So I just reply to your email. So if you've if you've already entered. It will be there. Um, it's just you might have gone into your spam, so check your spam. Um, one second. The pumpkins are so so good. Are we talking about Melinda Messenger again? I don't like her. I definitely don't like her. There's something about her. Uh, just hope there's no tiger corpses. No, I, I've spoken to the guy that got on there as well, and he said the security's really tight on it. They've got cameras on there and stuff. But once you're on. And you get in there, it's good. But you climbed up a rope. And my arms are so weak. Now I can cl I've got good legs, but my arms are terrible. So, God knows. Freddie definitely wouldn't be doing it, hundred percent. So, but it would be good. Uh, you what? You said just a sec, but then never got anything. What? What are you talking, Catherine? What do you mean? I'm confused. I'm gonna have to stay now until bug knockers. I'm going to have to stay on there. Am I doing any more asylums? Possibly. Um, get those weights out again. Now, my arms have always been ter terrible, even when I was a runner. Um, terrible memory, but how do we get the posters? 
If you go to paypal.me slash beepers, donate anything over a fiver and you can either get a poster, uh, you'll either get a poster, some photographs, postcards, stickers, a mask, a video message, or all of them, because one person will be getting all of them. Um, you emailed me and said, just a sec. When? On what? Message me again and I'll reply to you. I'll reply to you because I have no idea what you're talking about at the moment. <laughs> so, um, I, no, I definitely said that. I sent it to you. I remember. I, in fact, I do remember now because I said just a sec and I've sent it to you. Because I sent it afterwards. Let me go on my list and I'll tell you. I'll tell you. One sec. I've got my list for the travel book on here. What is your name again? Catherine Robinson. Yep, yep, it's been sent already. I'll um, I'll resend it for you. So we've definitely got it on there because it should have it should have come. It might have just gone into your spam because it's a it's a a picture, and they often drop into spam. Um, right. Okie dokes. Right, I'm going to go. It's been really nice being on with you. I'm glad Andy popped in again. Hopefully we might get him in on a on a live soon enough so you can all have a bit of a, a chin wag with an update with him. And uh, whatever. One sec. I never check my emails. 334,600 to catch on this week. I'm exact. If you look at my emails at the bottom, uh, there's 9,400 on there to catch up on before we start on any others. So, right, I am going to go have a lovely, lovely evening. Uh, I will be at the England match tomorrow at Wembley uh, with Freddie. So, the video tomorrow night, I probably won't be in the chat. I might pop in, but I'll be at the England match. So, right, I've got to get up now to turn you off. So, I will see you later. Jesus Christ. My legs are aching there. Right, I love you all. Oh God, I don't know how to turn you off. There you go. See you later.